What it do, baby? It's your boy Baki back with another one. We're going to be doing a reaction video today. Today, we're going to be looking at the new Mufasa Lion King trailer. I've been hearing some mixed things about it already, so I'm ready to check it out. If you haven't done so yet, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. Maybe leave your boy a like if you're enjoying the video. We're going to jump straight into it, though, because I'm not here to waste your time. You already know what it is, baby. Let's go. It's time I tell you a story. A story of a cub, not much bigger than you. So just to be clear, we're not in this story? There's a lot of stories with all of us. Tell one of those. Long before they became legends, Mufasa and the prince who would come to be known as Scar became brothers. What do you mean became? What's your name? Mufasa. I told you to wait for me. We can't just leave him here. Rules are rules, Tucker. The king will never accept a stray. I'm not a stray. I'm just lost. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Hold on. We do not Mufasa's associate with outsiders. Tucker is the future king. We must protect the bloodline. But, Dad, I saved his life. <laughs> Secret Mufasa. I always wanted a brother. I always wanted a brother. Sometimes I get a scent. It's barely a That's trace a good on shot, though. And it smells like home. That's a good and shot. You and Tucker together. That is home. Now both of you go. Find your place. Circle of life. Kimba? <laughs> the circle is broken. There will be one Lion King. Mufasa, run! We must fight together. If we fight, we die. Just to be clear, I never signed up for this. I'm here to protect you, my brother. Mufasa! This was a bad idea! We're alive! Uh, I did it! Uh, I saved us! You're saying? Disney, are you out of ideas or what, what man? What's going on here? I'm I'm so confused. I'm confused on ten different fronts here. I don't even understand. Okay, let me try to piece this together real quick. So Mufasa is an orphan lion that they just found wandering somewhere. Scar is the original bloodline king that was next in line somewhere during this movie a white lion gang of lions are going to come and invade pride rock pride rock is going to be saved by mufasa and scar but somehow during all of this scar is going to get a scar and give up his rightful heir as king Hold on, hold on, hold. Wait, a, this doesn't even make sense. And then in the movie that we've already seen, Scar is going to kill Mufasa. This doesn't make any sense, though, because, like, Mufasa never told Simba that he wasn't from royalty. Here's my whole point, right? When Simba and Mufasa are talking, and he's like talking about the past kings and all this shit, and everything the light touches is our kingdom, and da 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 da, da all of that shit. Dude, the story would have been completely different because Mufasa would have told Simba, like, I wasn't even here. Like, I didn't even come from this. I earned all of this. Let me tell you the story how I earned all. He didn't say none of that. Like, we just literally, Disney is out of ideas, bro. This is scary. Disney, if you need some ideas, I promise you, I have a ton of ideas that are fresh, fresh 
fresh tomatoes for you I could give you, bro. If you guys are out of ideas like this, this is pretty scary how bad this is like out of an idea. It's one of those prequels that doesn't need to be made as well as a moment where you're messing up the canon that already existed. Like at least with some prequels and things, you, you kind of fix plot holes like Rogue One. You know what I'm saying? This, I don't know what we're doing here. I don't get why, I don't get why this is a thing. And I also don't get why you had to make Mufasa an orphan. Like, why did he have to be? Why couldn't they just be brothers? And Scar's just always, like, kind of not really liked them. They just never got along. This looks like they're best bros, which you never get the vibe from in the actual movies. If the message is anyone can become king, Mufasa didn't even relay that to his son. So what are we doing here? You're, you're going you're gonna to give Mufasa some grand old new message that he's going to walk with, but then not even feed it to his son in any kind of way, shape or form. That makes no sense. Like, I don't I don't even I don't even understand why they chose the, to go this route with it. See, like all of this stuff, I guess they probably tried it before, you know, and, and maybe it didn't work. Like maybe they tried to make Scar and Mufasa like not like each other as brothers or something. I don't know. But I've never I've never even thought about it like that, you know? I mean, who knows? It could work. Maybe they can make it work. But it just it just kind of it negates the moments that Mufasa shares with Simba. And then Simba inherently learns on his own while he's out in the wild himself when he sees Mufasa in the clouds. So it's almost poetic in a way for the original, right? You know? But with this, you're taken away from that. And you're saying, like, Mufasa just... He abandoned everything else and was like, forget, forget that I'm an orphan. I'm a king now. That's what's important. You need to learn. You need to learn king stuff now. So I don't know if we're going to see a lion grow that much. Think about it. Like he has no royalness in his blood. Right. So he has to learn everything, everything. He has to learn how to be a lion on top of learning how to be a royal lion. Like that's next up in air line. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just feel like. I just feel like it's almost too much to handle for a movie like this. Maybe if they turn it into a series or something, it could have even been better. Because at least then you could have some moments to really, really stretch out, like sly moments where Scar's like undermined a little bit, you know, as as Mufasa's like the the adopted brother. You know what I'm saying? Like where you, you feel the seesaw a little bit of the two of them like riding each other a little bit. They They vibe with each other, but sometimes his mom might do something for... Simba, I'm sorry, for Mufasa that he wouldn't do for Scar, you know, that would be interesting to see, but there's no way they're going to be able to compile all of that in a two and a half hour movie because you're going to have to push forward the narrative of Mufasa growing up to become the Mufasa that we know. So, you know, there's not going to be enough time, but if there was a series, I think that you'd actually have a better chance to really, really at least express it out in a way to maybe give us a real reason why he doesn't talk about his abandonment past or anything about that to Simba, you know? So I don't know. That's about it for me on this one, man. I'm, there's not really much more to say. It doesn't even really look too hot. It looks okay. Uh, there were some really good shots, but some shots, like, like I said, you can just, you know, it's just CG land, bro. Like Disney, I don't understand why Disney's making movies like, live action movies with fake ass lions and shit not saying they should be using real lions but like why even make this why not just put this 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 movie gonna cost hella money right why not put this in a bunch of animated movies i i, I just don't understand the premise on on why we're why we need to do a, a lion king prequel like they are they fishing for bread that bad because they're like what's the last billion dollar movie we've We've had the uh, Lion King hit and did really well. Let's uh let's get the Lion King stuff back. Like, I don't get it. And did I see Tim? Yeah, like how are Timon and Pumbaa here? Yeah, for me this is gonna be a big no. I'm not gonna watch it. I'll check it out when it comes to uh, streaming. You know, I'm not gonna watch this, bro. It it already is like it. It makes my brain hurt. It really does. I mean, look at it initially. Became brothers. Hello, what's your name? Mufasa. I told you to wait for me. We can't just leave him here. Rules are rules, Tucker. The king will never accept a stray. I'm not a stray. I'm just lost. You're a, you're a stray. What are you, 
What do you mean? If you don't have anybody else, you're stray, bro. It's okay. Look, he looked at him like, bruh, <laughs> you're clearly stray. We must protect the bloodline. But, Dad, I saved his life. What does that even mean? We, like, we must protect the bloodline. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, we must protect the bloodline. Then how is Mufasa king? Like, why are we rooting for Mufasa? You're basically turning Mufasa into a villain. Essentially. It's kind of weird. You're turning Mufasa into a villain. Or maybe I'm tripping, but that's what I'm getting out of this. Mufasa somehow manipulated the whole entire thing to take over when he didn't even deserve it. Scar deserved it. So that's why you're saying that's why he killed him. But they could have just been brothers and he could have just been a jealous lion that that's what lions do when they're together anyways they fight for it right what does what does mufasa do in this movie that's going to propel him to be king over scar when scar's still alive and hits his rifle air it like rightfully goes to him you know that's the real question that i'm wondering but I guess we'll have to see how it goes. That's going to be it for me on this one. I don't want to drag on too long on this. I, again, I'm not excited for this at all. But I'm going to watch it. I'm going to give it a shot. You never know. You never know. But I'm not watching it in theaters. You got me twisted. I'm not I'm not supporting this kind of stuff. You guys, Disney, do better. Make better things. Get more creative. You see how you made a billion dollars with Deadpool? Get more creative with things. It doesn't have to be the most graphically fidelity crazy things nobody cares about that stuff we just want good stories engaging stories even if they are childish or whatever it doesn't matter bro cook i'll see y'all on the next one baby y'all be easy out there peace